So here it is. UX is actually about 90% understanding stakeholder expectations and user expectations about the product and really digging deep and understanding the problem that we're trying to solve. And then 10% of UX is actually uh, designing a really beautiful concept, a really high fidelity design. So I know you're used to seeing beautiful, uh, polished designs on Behance and Dribbble, but are they really solving an actual problem? As a UX designer or a UX researcher, our jobs are to spend about 80 to 90% of our time on the following, gathering context about the problem that we're trying to solve as a team, talking to stakeholders and team members internally to gather that context, conducting internal stakeholder interviews and external user interviews to really understand what the problem is that we're trying to solve, doing competitor analyses, both indirect com competitor analyses and direct competitor analyses to really understand the market space where our product belongs in, analyzing quantitative data, coming up with information architecture models based on our mental model of what it should look like or how information should be organized, wireframing, coming up with multiple low fidelity concepts and continuing to iterate on those low to mid fidelity concepts. That's where 80 to 90% of our time goes. That last 10 to 20% is really focusing on one tight, polished, high fidelity concept or mock-up or prototype. Really thinking about the style, the branding, uh, of course, very much in the UI world. The reality is user experience is more about managing expectations, both stakeholder expectations and user expectations about the product rather than just pushing pixels in Figma. And so the key to success here in the field of UX is psychology. We really need to be understand why users want what they want and then we have to deliver the how through our solution. And so in our four month live personalized UX course, we spend so much time on the psychology of UX. We, can, we go through the psychology of conducting user interviews, of managing stakeholder you know, expectations. We go through the psychology of creating information architecture and layouts based on users' mental models. We go through the cognitive psychology behind the UI of the templates as well. So we get to the why and we also show you how. And this is why our cohort members have landed six figure jobs at five, five Fortune 500 companies like PNC, Truist, Capital One, BNY Mellon, IBM, you name it. So you're welcome to join us for the cohort and visit www.id8labs.co to learn more.